Hello everybody, this is Leslie of Civil Moon Creations. And how is everybody? I apologize, I have been away for a little while, but I got the COVID bug. So I had been sick for a good two weeks and I'm going on my third week and I'm starting to feel a little bit better. You may hear me cough a little bit um, <clears throat> or unfortunately clear my throat because I'm still dealing with congestion but um, I'm finally able to make a video for you guys. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do today, as you see in front of me, I have some mixed media paper and watercolor paper that I cut up into uh, different sizes. And basically what I'm using is I'm using watercolors, I'm using a couple of watered down acrylic paints, I'm using my 15 Neocolor Water Soluble Karen Dash crayons that I never get to play with. Um, I do have my Artsy Watercolor Palette. It's 56 colors. I have two of the Jane Davenport watercolors out. So that one, and then I have the Neutrals. So I have that. So I have those out. I also have my Calero. These are like gold metallic and a silver. So I have these off to the side. I also have the Arteza ones, but I don't think I'm going to work with them. I started to and I didn't really. That's this one here. They're a little light for me um, for kind of what I'm looking to do. But what we're gonna do today is I have all of these pieces of paper, like I said, some are heavier watercolor paper, some are mixed media, and I'm just putting color on them. So this is mixed media, this is watercolor. I also have my spray stains off to the side, so we may mix some watercolor and spray stains together. I will apologize, um, I did have a nail pop off and because I've been sick, I have not been able to get to the nail salon. <laughs> so I apologize for the way my nails look. Um, this one, I took a couple of Tim Holtz's, um, the Stampers Anonymous stencils. Why can't I think straight? And I just kind of mixed a couple of them together to get that. And that was done with watercolor. And I just used a brush and I did the pounce technique. So I just pounced on it. And as you could see, some of them were a little bit more watery than others. I tried to keep them less watery. So I was able to actually get a good stamp on it. And then I just put Whatever was on the tabletop, I just put on the back of it. Okay, so let's put these off to the side. Let's grab, I'll grab a littler one. We'll do this one. So I just wanna make sure, this is watercolor paper. So I think we're gonna use some of the Karen Dashes. So with these, all I do, now I have the glass mat, I just scribble onto the glass mat a couple of the colors that I would like to mix. So we will try and do some autumn colors here. Maybe we'll do a little bit of this. That's a nice color. I don't know if it ever, t oh, this is just, this is ochre. So we had ochre, we have vermilion, we have orange, oh, that was an easy one. Scarlet, and just yellow. So these are the ones that we have here. Okay, I'm gonna take my smaller brush. So this is a half inch angular Taclon brush. 
and it's by American Painter. If I'm not mistaken, I probably got this. I've had a lot of my brushes for a very long time. This probably came from either Michaels or it probably came from AC Moore when AC Moore was still around. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wet these, okay? And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the lighter color first. And I'm just gonna lay some color down. I did not wet the paper this time. Usually on watercolor paper, I will wet the paper. I did not do that this time. So I hope everybody is well. I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I've, even though I've been away, I've gotten quite a few and trust me, I truly do appreciate that. I just hope that you guys will stick around and you will enjoy the content. We have a lot of content coming up because we have the October Daily coming that I will be participating along with a couple other YouTubers, one of which is my good friend Tony from Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts. And I know Mystical Misty One, my friend, is she's going to also be doing the October Daily. And also another friend of ours, um, Harmony from Harmony Creations. She too is going to be participating so I hope you guys check their channels out all right I like that so I'm gonna get my little heat tool here okay so let's do the other side this one I think I'm gonna wet Again, I'm going to go in with the lighter colors. Now I'm not washing the brush. Now the other thing you can do is you can certainly go and just grab it that way I like to have my brush strokes when it comes to the watercolor so that's usually why I tend not to I want to dull that down because I wasn't loving the color. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to mute it down. I'm going to wipe this up. All I'm using is just dry baby wipes here. And so I think I'm going to bring in some other colors. So I have the reds and the oranges and stuff are over here. And as you can see, we have some really bright colors here. And I'm just going to wet these down a little bit. Well, I'm having to grab another paintbrush because I dropped the other one and I think it went under the couch. So, now this piece that I have here, this tray came from the Dollar Tree. It is called the Activity Paint Tray. It's 14 and a half inches by nine and a quarter inches. And if you are in 
Europe, the measurements are 36.83 centimeters by 23.5 centimeters. But, um, but they're plastic trays and they have the holes if you want to put your paints in here. So say if I want to, I have, I had purchased these from, can't remember if it was, my, I don't know who does Craft Smart. I don't know if it, I think it's Joann's. It's either Joann's or Michael's. And I was able to get them on clearance. This eight ounce bottle was $2. This is gunmetal. And then I had got the light silver, and that was two fluid ounces. And then I have the glitter paint, which is black, and I got that one for a dollar. This one I had gotten for 50 cents a while back. And then this one is a silver glitter paint, and I had gotten that for a dollar. So say I want to put some glitter paint in that. And I want to put the silver glitter paint. I tend to use this artsy watercolor only because there's so many that it's just amazing. And as you can see, I have some color here. So if I want some blue and green, I already have some right there. All right, like that. Water that down a bit. Oh, that's a nice bright color. So say we want to put some orange. And I excuse my arm because my paint, my water bucket is up there. And let's add in some yellow here. So what is everybody up to? Is everybody getting excited for the Halloween fall season? We have a beautiful day here in New Jersey today. I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful it is here today. It is cool. It is like a beautiful fall day. dry this because I don't want to mix my colors from the top to the bottom um, of course you can't see this <laughs> because I moved it I forgot and the watercolor paper and the mixed media paper that I am working with is by Canson they're affordable and that's why I use them plus I've had them in my stash for a very long time Oop, I picked up a little bit of yellow on the other side, but that's okay. We'll just mix it in. Okay. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do on this one, let's take this one. I'm going to take a lot of water, and I'm going to take a little bit of the green. that down a little bit. I don't 
know. Are we going to make a little scene here? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what comes up. Ground some browns here, just in case if I do. I've had these paints for a very long time. And they last forever, let me just tell you. And so I'm just mixing colors here. It's a little too red for my liking. That's good. So on my horizon line, I'm just throwing in some brown. And I'm just using the tip of my brush because I'm making it look as if there are maybe some trees. In the distant background. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and we're going to just pull down a little bit of that water. And we're going to hit it with the heat gun. All right. So let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, take a couple of my smaller brushes here. Maybe we will use this one. Put a little bit of water on there. Um, Maybe we'll use this. I have nothing in my head. I'm just playing around here. Okay, and then let's see, I don't know, let's do, <coughs> I guess we'll use the same brush and we'll do Have this be some land here.
Got a little bit more of this light color in here. Gonna take this, we're gonna kinda dry that a little bit. And let's see what color. Let's do. This is kind of like an olive green. I think we're just going to pull that all in here. Okay. Alright, we're going to hit this with the heat tool again. Okay. Alright, now I think what I want to do is I want to get... I'm going to put some white in there. I'm going to use, I think, this, which is, again, the orange. And what I'm doing is I just, I kind of want to put a, the sun. Oh, I'm going to get my really small brush here. This brush has seen better days. <laughs> Pull that in. So that's where our light source is going to be. So let's do... I'm 
Well, these are back in the distance, so we don't really have to do too much. I just want to add a little bit more color. It's just so it's not that flat color. Especially the ones that are a little bit bigger. Okay. I like so far. This is very abstract and this is not what I intended to be doing, but this is where the direction took me. So I hope you're enjoying this. Um, let's do... No, oh, those are the other ones. I should be able to use these. This one is brown. <laughs> that might be a little too light. There we go, adding in a little bit of black because I want it to be darker. Okay, all right, that should be good. Now I think what I'm going to do here is, um, I don't know if I could probably use this one. I'm going to try and load this with paint. Okay, so I think I got most of that into the brush. Now these brushes are by Royal. It is a, couldn't even tell you, three quarter inch. These are my favorite brushes. I absolutely love these brushes. I do not remember where I got them from, but I really love these brushes. Okay, let me add a little bit of green because we want to add, so as you can see I'm making a tree. And I don't want to overdo it. I do tend to do sometimes. <laughs> We're just going to blend this down and then I am going to take a little bit of orange with the brown and I am going to make So you have some branches in there. And I don't know, let's try. Do I have my other thinner brush? Because this one, 
I'm gonna use this one. Okay, and I think I'm going to take this one, I'm going to go back into the green a little bit here, I'm going to pounce that, I'm going to take a little bit darker, because this will bring them to the forefront. And then we'll take a little bit of this color here and that'll blend it. Okay. Looking good. Okay, so we have a tree. Let's do. We gotta add a little bit of light onto here. Um, not that bright. Holy cow. That's really bright. I don't even know if I could tone that down. There we go. Just want to bring some light. Get a good grounding for this. Because our tree roots need to be grounded. Alright, we're gonna heat the heat gun. I'm liking that so far. Okay, let's switch this around because I think we're going to add in some blues and some purples. Blue, some purple. And what I want to do, I don't know if might not be strong enough. Let's make it a little bit deeper. And I'm just doing some dots. I just want there to look like there's like flowers and stuff out on the ground. do get that brown again
because don't forget this is abstract so you just kind of want to mix this all together here Now, what do we want to put over here? Um, about a hedge. Let's do let me get this brush. This is one of my squat little brushes. This is a great pouncing brush. So I'm gonna take a dark green and that olive. I'm gonna mix that all together with what I have here. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this red-ish brown. I think that might be a good color. Okay. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to separate here. I want to see a little bit more land here.
And I'm just putting little indications of some grass. I've got some tall grasses here in the back. Now in here, what I kind of want to do, uh, I need a little bit more water. I kind of want it to feel like those are the branches. Let's hit it with the heat gun. Is that dry enough? Now I'm gonna take my white Karen Dash and I just wanna add in a little bit of white for a path here. Okay. And then I'm gonna clean off this brush again. Let's get most of this off. And I just kind of want to mix this in a little bit. Because I don't want it to be too strong. I know I have white paint. Let's try some white paint here. Yeah, I like that. That I like. All right. Let's tone that down a little bit. Take my cloth here and do a little bit of pouncing. And I think we might be done.
and I'm adding this so you can see little flowers. So I guess I got a phone call, so it knocked me completely out. <laughs> so I apologize, I'm picking up here. So what I did was I added in some black and bluish color because I want to kind of create some rocks. So I'm gonna dry this now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some highlight. Let me get rid of this dark color because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna take some of this yellow. And a little bit of that orangey brown. And that's where we're gonna make our highlight. Let me close these up. Is this the right one? Now, I think I have to get rid of that brush. It has something on it, and that's why it doesn't paint that great. A little bit more of that yellow. Okay, and we're going to dry this and we are done. Add a little bit more yellow to this side since I've got it on my brush. Why waste it, right? Since I have that there, I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle. Okay. So this is not what I had intended on doing, but this is where we went. <laughs> so, oh gosh. So we have a little picture that we created in watercolor. I'll bring you down. And it's just a little abstract scene of a tree and, you know, out in wilderness. And I'm going to sign it. What can I sign it with? I need something a little bit bright. Let's try red, maybe. Let's do this color. Pull you up a little bit here. And it's signed. Okay. So this is something very different that I have not yet done on my channel, but I do enjoy painting. I 
love watching Bob Ross. I am, anytime there's nothing on that, you know, strikes my fancy, I put Bob Ross on. As I was doing this, I had Bob Ross on. <laughs> so, but, um, so I hope you enjoyed this. this is, like I said, this is something different. And I will try and edit out as much as I can so the video is not really, really long. But I am using watercolor paper. This happened to be a little watercolor paper. And if you wanted, let me see, I can tell you how big it is. So it is just, just under five inches wide, and it is three inches tall. So it's about a five by three. Okay. So thank you all again for joining me for this little painting project that I did. And um, maybe this will end up in a junk journal. So if you ever buy a junk journal for me once I put them on Etsy, maybe this will be in one of your junk journals. So thank you again, everybody, and take care. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.